So back pain is not the same as sciatica. They're two very, very different things. Back pain is simply just back pain, but sciatica is when you have a pinched nerve in the lowest part of your spine, which starts to send the pain in the hip area, down the leg, basically down the path of the sciatic nerve. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you some amazing information, stunningly effective information to really free up the nerve, take pressure off that nerve and ease your sciatica and give you fast sciatica relief. Without a doubt, the most common reason why people get sciatica is because of a disc prolapse or bulge in the lowest part of the spine, just like this one here, and that presses on the sciatic nerve and sends the pain shooting down the leg. Here is another way of looking at it. So you can see the disc here, the outer material will damage and degenerate, and then that inside red material, the nucleus pulposus, will bulge its way out, press on a nerve, and shoot the pain down the leg. That is classic sciatica. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to release that pressure on the disc and the nerve and get yourself feeling and moving a lot better. To understand this first exercise, you need to understand why we're doing it. So the disc, it's like a little jam donut in a way. If you compress the disc more by squeezing it, you can imagine that jam shooting out further. That is not what we're after. What we're trying to do is decompress the disc. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a traction exercise where you're tractioning out the disc, taking pressure off that nerve, which of course will allow that disc bulge to go back in ever so slightly, and that will speed up the healing process, but also take pressure off these little nerves which shoot down the leg, the sciatic nerves. So you're gonna sit on a chair, and then you're gonna put your hands at the edge of the chair, lift your hips off, and let your body relax off. So you're tractioning down the weight of your hips and your legs, are tractioning through, taking pressure off the discs in the lowest part of the spine. Hold it for 30 seconds and do that one five times a day. Another way we can decompress the lowest part of the spine and take pressure off the sciatic nerve is with this. So place a chair in front of you, hands on the chair, and then lean your body forwards. And as you do that, lift up so that your knees are off the floor. And again, if you want to increase the effectiveness, you can rock your hips from side to side and that will traction out the spine. I can really feel a, almost like a decompressive release in my lower back as I'm doing that. And as you move from side to side, of course, you're moving the spine like this, which further frees up that disc, which will take more and more pressure off the sciatic nerve. So another reason why people are gonna get sciatica is because yes, we've got a disc problem, but also really help the problem heal by restoring proper movement back into the spine. When you've got damage, degeneration, and pain in the lower back and sciatica, the whole area gets tighter and tighter, more restricted. What we can do is we can traction out and move the spine. So we're gonna now free up your spine, not in a traction way, but actually transverse plane, which is this sort of freeing up and rotating of the back to free up the discs, free up the joints, free up the nerves, and take as much pressure off the area by restoring optimal movement into the spine to get you feeling and moving back to your best again. So in this position, I want you to lie on your back, grab one knee and pull up and across the body in this angle here. And you can see that I'm stretching through the muscles of the glute into the lower back and also rotating my lower back right through to here. Hold for 30 seconds. And then again, same thing the other side, up through to there, hold for 30 seconds. 30 seconds both sides is really gonna free up this area in the lowest part of the spine and take as much pressure off that disc and off the nerves as we can. Now as a bonus extra tip, what we really don't want to do once we've freed everything up and decompressed and started the healing process is to continue to aggravate things over and over again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to bend and move the correct way because what we can often do is undo this good work that you've done over and over again by bending the wrong way. So when you're stood up and you're bending forwards, I want you to push your hips backwards and keep that curve in the lower back as you do that. Do not round like a banana there, because that's putting a lot of pressure into the discs and the spine, which will continue to aggravate things over and over again and cause more damage and always set you back to the beginning. So you have a curve going in the lower back this way, your lumbar lordosis, and I want you when you bend forwards to bend like that rather than that. You can see the difference. That's what we're after. So you're maintaining that curvature through there as you bend rather than bending like that. If you can do that as an exercise, so bending forwards, practicing that good technique, it will become ingrained in your system and it will become a natural, normal way for you to move. So even without thinking about it, you do your teeth over a sink or you bend down into a cupboard and you bend the correct way. That's how we want you bending. And if you do that and the other exercises, you're gonna start feeling and moving a lot better. You're gonna get fast sciatica relief and also more importantly, sciatica relief that lasts long-term. 
Now, if you're on TikTok and you would like a lower back strengthening and stabilizing program, then click just down here on this video. You will find a program that I've created with a series of videos which strengthens the lower back and gets you super strong and healthy through here so that your lower back is bulletproof going forwards. And it takes you from easy exercises, progresses you through to more advanced and harder exercises so you can get a strong, healthy lower back. As I say, click just down here on this video and you'll find that one there.